Hello and welcome to a new tutorial about breakpoints. In this video, we are going to tackle how breakpoints preview with and auto scale work in Xion Builder. When you open the breakpoints area, you will see two input areas, one for your viewport width size and another for the percentage at which you see your design. If you measure your viewport, you will notice that it corresponds to the size shown in the first input. And right now the auto scale is on and you view your viewport at 100% scale. If you change the breakpoint to laptop, you will see that the viewport size changes accordingly and the scale size is still 100%. You can disable the auto scale and enter your own percentage by clicking this lock. If you click the lock icon again, then your design will auto scale back to the full width of your viewport. These options will be useful when working on a smaller screen or with multiple panels open. If you open your tree view panel and check your breakpoints area again, you will see that even if your viewport with size is the same, you are seeing it at 81% because it auto scaled. If you disable the auto scale, you can see your design at 100% scale again, but because the viewport size is bigger than the preview area, you now have a bottom scroll bar for you to use to see the rest of the design. You can also open your options panel and toggle between auto scale modes as desired. Another thing you can do is resize your viewport to see how your design looks at various resolutions. So if you want to see how the design looks on ultra-wide screen, enter your desired resolution here. If you want to remove or add new breakpoints, you can do so from the Edit Breakpoints button. We can delete a breakpoint by pressing the bin icon or add a new one from here, then save it by pressing the checkmark icon. Let me now demonstrate how to apply different styles to different breakpoints. The most frequently asked question is how to hide an element at a specific breakpoint. I'll try to hide this button on laptop screens, but still keep it visible on desktop. To hide an element, you need to go to Display under the Styling tab, then hit Display None to hide it or Display Block to make it visible. By default, all elements are visible, so there's no need to check the display block style for the desktop. Now if I go to the laptop screen and check none, my blue button will be hidden, but on desktop will still be visible. Notice how all the breakpoints under the laptop screen have the button hidden also. That means that the precedent breakpoint styles will apply to all next breakpoints that have no styles. So if we want to display the button for the tablet, now we can select Display None. With Zion Builder, you can easily change the style of any element at any breakpoint. This concludes our brief breakpoint tutorial. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.